Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Danica and I'm a clothing reseller, mostly on Poshmark. I sell on Poshmark Canada and Poshmark US. And this week's video is my weekly What's Sold Monday. So every Monday I go over my sales from the week. This week is gonna be the week of June 14th to June 20th, 2021. And I usually add screenshots here of the items that sold, but this week, I'm not gonna lie to you, I can't, I don't have time to do that. I wish I had planned ahead, but I go back to work tomorrow and I just have so many things left to do before I go. So I'm sorry, I usually always have screenshots, but it's just, I can't, like I cannot do it today. <laughs> um as always you can always go into my closet i didn't sell anything on ebay so if you want to see my sales you can go to my closet i have them linked in the description and just look at the sold listings if there's like one thing specifically you want to see what the style was i will try to be as descriptive as i can but it does um add a lot of time to my editing and i just i physically don't have the time today i'm so sorry but next week i will be able to so like I said, this is the week of June 14th to June 20th, 2021, and these are all the sales I made on Poshmark. Um, Monday, I made two sales, first one being a Star Wars shirt that I got at the bins. It said Millennium Falcon on it and had like a graphic of what that is. I've never seen Star Wars, so I honestly couldn't tell you what it is, but I got, it got a ton of attention on both sides, Canada and US, and finally it sold on Monday. I had it listed for just a few days. I made a profit of $8.17. Next sale on Monday was just a pair of Esprit flip-flops that were a personal item of mine, so it was $12.85 in my pocket. They were just like, um, sandals with like an olive green elasticized strap over the foot and like a faux leather little flip-flop thing nothing special i just couldn't stand them because the sound they make when you walk is just like i don't like that noise <laughs> so i sold them tuesday i made three sales the first one being an aritzia dress it was a floral dress and it you give me one sec i'll find the style name it's called the sonore sonore floral dress it was missing the belt which i didn't realize until i got home but that's okay i got it in march for nine dollars and 37 cents i made a profit of 52 dollars and 63 cents on it and it sold over on poshmark us next sale on tuesday was an orange north face puffer coat this sold so fast it sold in like 10 minutes i had it listed for 250 dollars and um like within minutes it had so many likes and it's actually out for delivery right now i don't know why i've been getting like weird vibes about this <laughs> i think it just sold so fast that i'm worried that i missed a flaw or something um that's something i'm so paranoid of but Hopefully everything's okay. I did sell it for $120. I had gotten it at the bin, gotten it at the bins. So after fees, I made $93.80 profit, which obviously I'm very happy with. Selling a puffer coat in June for that much profit is amazing. I think I had it listed for like 150 maybe. Anyway, Next sale on Tuesday was just a pair of regular white lace-up vans, nothing crazy. I did wreck these by trying to wash them. I like somehow OxyClean soaked them and they came out with like big like yellowing spots on them. And it was like not nice enough that I could try to sun bleach them. It was so annoying. Anyway, I spent $8.50 on them, made a profit of $7.30 after my cost of goods and fees. So it was okay. And then I sent out a ton of offers on Tuesday or Wednesday. I don't remember, but I made 12 sales on Wednesday. First, a pair of Lululemon Speed Up Black Leggings. They sold on Poshmark Canada for a profit of $25.82. Next, a lululemon no limits tank top it's like that tank top that has a little built-in bra i got at the bins for a dollar sold for a profit of eleven dollars and 91 cents next was a raspberry crew neck 
I got it at the bins for a dollar, sold for a profit of $5.89 on Poshmark. Next was the uh, Donnie, it's the cardigan that was in the FabFitFun box. This was from my own personal FabFitFun box. I realized I just like didn't wear it very much. I wore it a bunch when I first got it, but then just stopped reaching for it. Um, It was like a duster. So I made $7.17 on it. Next sale on Wednesday was a pink rose, pink open cardigan. It was just like a long sleeve knit pink open cardigan. I got at the bins for a dollar. I made a dollar seventeen cents profit on it. Next sale on Wednesday was a pair of BP, which is a Nordstrom brand, just dis distressed leather like ankle boots. Um, I got those at the bins, made a profit of six dollars and seventeen cents on them. Next sale was a vintage Reitman's blouse. Reitman's is a Canadian brand. It was just like a white kind of like sheer blouse with embroidered flowers on it. And it was super cute. It had a tie on the side so that you could like bring back and cinch in your waist. So cute. Anyway, I made a profit of $7.17 on that one as well. Next sale on Wednesday was a pair of DV Dolce Vita boots. Um, I actually got these thrifted, not at the bins. I paid $8.50 for them and made a profit of $38.90. Next was it, a blue uh, lacy kind of slip dress. I got it at the bins for a dollar, made a profit of $7.89. Next sale on Wednesday was a pair of acne jeans. They were just like a medium wash, straight leg jean. I made a profit of $36.57. My second to last sale on Wednesday was a crochet tank top similar to this. I just filmed the haul and I got something really similar. So it almost looked like this. Um, and I sold it for a profit of $2.89. And my last sale on Wednesday was an anthropology and monogram mug. I only profited 90 cents on this. I was like really sending out offers to just like get some stuff moving. I've been having slow sales. I'm on pace to hit like two thirds of my goal, which is okay. Honestly, considering that I haven't been doing any work on Poshmark, really, um, I should be happy with that. <laughs> anyway, um, on Thursday I made like some of the offers kept like coming through. So I made seven sales on Thursday. First one being a pair of Merrill. They were like a burgundy suede slip on shoe. I got at the bins for a dollar. made a profit of $8.89. Next was a C by Chloe skirt. It was a cream wool mini skirt with a window pane pattern on it. It was so cute. I got it at the bins for 75 cents. Made a profit of $26.89. I was really hoping for more, but at this point, like I'd had it since February, I was ready to just move it. Next was this vintage Serge saint Yves tank top. I showed this in a very recent um, haul. It just had a graphic that said deck chair or something on it. It was so cute though. It was a full price sale. I made $24.58. Next sale was a burgundy graphic t-shirt that just said Calgary on it and had like little Western graphic around it. I sold this shirt for a loss of $4.01, but it is what it is, it's fine. Next sale on Thursday was this um, Kinar, I think that's how you spell it or pronounce it K-E-N-A-R linen tank top. It was 75 cents at the bins. I got it in September of 2020. I thought it was gonna move so fast, but anyway, I made a profit of $30.85, which considering how long I had it for, I was really happy with. And my next sale on Thursday was just a Victoria's Secret pink, like neon green zip up hoodie. I got it at the bins. It had some stains on it. I listed it. Disclosed the stains. Um, I got it at the bins for a dollar and made nine dollars and fifty cents. And my last sale on Thursday was an Amer just a pair of American Eagle light wash shorts. Um, I got it at the bins for a dollar and made a profit of twelve dollars. Friday I made one sale and it was this. Uh, it was a Longchamp bow tie. It was brand new in the box. And I sold it for, I got it at the bins for a dollar and made $9.50 on it. 
And that was all my sales this week. I didn't make any sales on Saturday, didn't make any sales on Sunday, but I was enjoying time with my friends and went for hikes out like in the mountains and I can't be mad at that. So it is what it is. I, like I said, I go back to work tomorrow. I don't know what my life is gonna look like for the next little bit because I'm just like not used to being at work. <laughs> so I just need to kind of figure all that out. Um, but yeah, so those are my sales this week. Let me know in the comments how your sales were, if they were like slower than usual, if they were average, what your best sale was. And I'll see you next week for my what's old video. Make sure you give me a thumbs up before you go. And I have like my Instagram linked in the description if you want to give me a follow there. And yeah, I'll see you next week.